Well, what is going on, guys? Back with another video, and today is the Euro 2020 prediction. I've seen a lot of people doing this, so I thought I might as well get into it and try and do it myself. So, we're gonna try and predict the eventual winners of the Euros. But first, we need to decide who's going through in the group stage. Let's start with Group A. We've got Switzerland, Turkey, Wales and Italy. I think Italy are going to be favourites in this group and surely got to be first. I'm deciding between Switzerland and Turkey, really, for that second place. I think Wales might finish third in this. I don't know. But I'm going with Turkey third. That's going to be controversial. And I think it's Switzerland or Wales second. And I think it's most likely going to be Switzerland third place and Wales second place. So I've done a little switch up there. And I've, again, I'm just switching it up because I think Switzerland are going to go through. But with Italy topping the group. Now it's Group B, Russia, Belgium, Denmark and Finland. I think Belgium have got to be favourites in this. Surely they've got to win it. Then it's going to be out of these three for the rest of it. I think Denmark have got the strongest team out of the three. Then it's going to be either Russia or Finland. And I think Russia's going to take that third place. And Finland going to take fourth. They haven't really got much of a chance in this, I don't think. The kit's nice, but the team isn't. Group C, Austria, North Macedonia, Ukraine and Netherlands. So I think Netherlands are going to be the easiest first place finish on this list, surely. Then it's either going to be Ukraine or Austria in that second place. North Macedonia, I don't think got a chance at all. Fourth place, sorry guys. And they did drop that kit that was quite nice, which is interesting. So either Austria or Ukraine for second and third. Austria second, Ukraine third. I think that's going to be a good choice it's group d and we've got the mighty england in this so it's scotland england croatia and czechoslovakia oh this is a tough group but i think england are gonna top it i'm very confident about this tournament we've got a strong squad this year and trent is out so that's maybe an issue but i think croatia surely got to be second scotland <laughs> I think Scotland have been hard done by by me. So I'm putting them third. And then it's Croatia. I hope they don't beat us again. It's like our bogey team. And then Czech Republic, bottom at list. I'm sorry, but they don't have a strong squad. All they've got is Suchek. Group E, Poland, Spain, Sweden and Slovakia. This is going to be an hard choice. But I think Spain, surely you've got to top this. They're the giants in this group. And they've only team that's really got any like world class players. I know Poland have got Lewandowski, but it's kind of like a one man team. So it's either Sweden second. I think that's a good choice. Slatan's not going to be in it because he's injured. But second, Poland third. And of course, the last team is Slovakia. I don't think they've got that good of a squad. Group F Portugal, France, Germany, and Hungary. It's the group of death. I don't think Hungary have got much of a chance in this, but they could be underdogs. France first place. I think that's pretty simple. I think France are going to hopefully have a good tournament. Well, not hopefully, but I think they're going to have a good tournament. Can they go back to back? Germany second. I kind of don't like the Germans here because it's like a derby, isn't it? But Germany second. I think Portugal. Oh, Hungary. Portugal's got to be third. Then Hungary bottom. That's easy peasy. Now, it's the third place teams with the most amount of points get through. So, I think you could pick four. This is going to be hard. Wales, Russia, Ukraine, Scotland, Poland and Portugal. I think Scotland are going to go through. I think Russia have got an even group. So, I think they've got a good chance of going through. Poland as well, they've got an even group. Portugal, I think that's it. I think they're the four third place teams that are going to go through so let's get into the round of 16 well this first game of the round of 16 two giants belgium and portugal it's going to be a very tough game belgium have players like de bruyne lukaku hazard other hazard players like that portugal do have ronaldo bruno fernandez neves they have a strong squad this year surprisingly but 
I think I'm going to go with Belgium. It's got to be Belgium, surely. Italy, Austria. I don't think there's really that much discussion here. Italy have a strong defence as always. They always have a good back line, don't they? They're known for that, Italy. Austria. It's, it's not looking too good. They've got some outstanding players. Sabitza, Lima, Alaba. Players like that. I think they've got a fast squad. But surely it's got to be Italy, hasn't it? France, Russia. I think this is an easy choice. France, strong favourites for the tournament. Russia, don't really have a chance. So it's got to be France, surely. Croatia and Sweden. That's quite a good matchup because they're both even like teams wise. But it depends on who's man in the match in midfield, really. It's the midfield battle. Croatia, Rakitic, Modric. Brozovic, players like that. They always end with each note. Sweden, have a good little team. Forsberg, Isaac this year. He's been outstanding, I think, in La Liga. And he's a strong little player, he's got. But I think Croatia have got a better team overall. Spain, Scotland, surely it's got to be Spain. But Scotland have put up a strong squad this year. They are surprising a few people how they're getting points. But of course, Spain have Morata, De Gea, Ramos if he goes. Is he in the squad this year? I don't think he was. But Spain always have a good team, don't they? And Laporte has recently changed to Spain. So obviously, I think it's got to be Spain, hasn't it? England and Germany, the big rivalry. It's going to be a tough game. But surely I've got to back England in this. And I think we're going all the way. It's coming home. Germany, I'm sorry, but the bias has to come in here. England, it's this, uh, it's this year. Surely we've got to win it. Netherlands, Poland. Surely Netherlands have to dominate Poland. But you never know. Poland could be dark horses of the tournament. They have players like Lewandowski, stuff like that. But Netherlands have players like the Pay, Wijnaldum, Delay. Malin, is he playing in this? Yeah, probably. Malin's got to be he's like a good striker and Liverpool have been linked with him. Surely, Netherlands have to power through this. Switzerland and Denmark. Now, this is another interesting game. They don't have the best teams, but when they go against each other, it's normally an hard fought battle. Switzerland have some players this year. Shakira, Shaka, stuff like that. But Denmark, of Ericsson, Schmeichel, Paulson. So I think it's got to be Denmark, surely. Now it's on to the quarterfinals. And the first game is Belgium and Italy. Two strong squads. Belgium are ranked first in the world rankings. So I've got to back them, I think. I think it's got to be Belgium. Although I think that's going to be a tight game. France, Croatia. Will Croatia get the revenge on the French side? I don't think it's going to happen. But you never know. There could be underdogs here. But it's got to be France, surely. And Belgium v France is going to be a good game. Spain and England. The last time we played Spain, we won them. And that was we outclassed them. So I think we've got to be favourites in this. Our team would. But do we have that chemistry in the team? No, no, that's the thing. We have some good individual players, but will we play as a team? So I think I'm going to back England in this. And then it's the bottom two. Netherlands, Denmark. I think Netherlands have got to win. But Denmark could play as a little team that play defensively and get the result. But I think it's got to be Netherlands. Now it's the semi-finals. Belgium and France, two strong teams. Some of the favourites of the tournament to win it. Belgium, you know, they're outstanding at the moment. And France are on another level. And if Nicolo Kante performs, surely it's got to be an easy win for them. England versus Netherlands now. This is a very tough matchup, but it's got to be England. And France, England in the final. I'm sorry, England. I think France are going to overpower us. I think France have got the best overall squad in their Italian tournament. And I think they're going to dominate for a couple of years. But I think England will do well to get to the final. And I think that's it for my predictions. France is Euro winners. 
I want to know what your predictions are, who's going to win it in your opinion. And as always, see you to the next one. Bye.